Hello. Hi, friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. I know before I get into today's video, it's going to seem probably a little out of place. It's been a while since we did an empties and we're in like holiday seasons, gift guides, all of that. But I got to get this stuff out of my office. It's got to go. And there is a lot to cover. So today we're doing a six months empties video. So I hope you'll stick around, hang out, keep watching and let's dive in. Again, it's been a while since I filmed. We'll see if I know what I'm doing. It is a very chill Sunday. I just got a bunch of house chores done. I'm wearing a face of makeup that I can't stop wearing right now. A lot of it is new to me or newer. Um, if you would like to know what this is, see this look. It's coming. We're going to start doing a shop my stash and getting kind of my kit ready for the week for today. No particular order, just jumping into body care. Um, I finished the Ellis Brooklyn Sweet. There we go. This is my favorite perfume. It's my everyday perfume. I believe it's been my everyday perfume since it came out in like, was it 2019, I want to say, but I used it all up. <laughs> there might be like the tiniest splash that I'll pour into my travel version of this, but for the 3.4 fluid ounces, it's $108, I believe. I always seem to line up finishing this with either the Credo sale, which I prefer, or the Sephora sale. So I get mine for like 85, which is excellent. It has my favorite magnetic <laughs> closure lid, beautiful frosted glass and label. I can't say enough about this. It is kind of a clean perfume brand, but what that more so means to me is I know that I'm not going to get a headache and nothing smells so cloyingly synthetic that it's going to bother me. This one is, it's sweet as it says, but it's like a creamy, almost kind of musky scent maybe. I'll pop the notes up on the screen, but it is, I get some like acidity or tang in the pineapple scent, but it's, it's just so good. I love this so much. I have since um, repurchased this and I actually purchased the new one, the Apple, Apple Rose or Apple, no, Apple Love. And it's so good. I love both of them, but this is my everyday signature perfume. Oh, and I forgot to say, I only buy this like once a year and trust me, I bathe in this <laughs> almost pretty much every day. It is a rare occasion that I'm not wearing this and I'm doing a few spritz, you know, the price is more than justified for me. Okay, let's talk about some hand care stuff. I've got the Beauty Pie Lemon Butter and Hemp Seed Hand Wash. This is fabulous. It has the Super Healthy Skin Line Scent, that kind of like really clean, luxurious, soapy, orange, citrus scent. I love it so much. I have talked about this in a couple other videos. One of my favorite things about this is that the nozzle is not longer than the bottle, so if there's any drips, it lands here and it's easy to wipe away. And you don't have to clean up a ton that has spilling spilling has spilled over onto the counter and I just love it it's also I think around the $16 mark for 16.9 fluid ounces or it might even be less than 16 I'll correct myself on the screen if I need to with prices I just love this and as far as like a luxury hand soap goes it's not as crazy expensive as some of these are I still really like method foaming wash and I'm using these new tablets from I get them on Amazon, but I think they're in here actually. So we'll get to those in a minute, but I love this. It moisturizes. It's not overly moisturizing, but it's definitely not going to strip your hands. Also looks nice. I love the clean packaging of Beauty Pie. So continue to repurchase this. I actually have another one on my master bath sink as we speak. All right, continuing with hand, I have the London Town Cure Whipped Cloud Hand Cream. This is one of my favorite hand creams of all time, especially when I'm using cuticle oil and then I use this on top. It just helps the oil sink in. It's not sitting on top of the skin, so my keyboard doesn't get covered at my desk. I love this so much. I didn't use quite all of it, but it's starting to not smell right. There's probably like literally this much left anyway. It has kind of a coconut cream scent. It's not like just coconut. It's not suntan lotion-y. But if you're, if you really detest coconut, which I do most of the time, but this didn't bother me, especially when I was mixing it with other scented cuticle oils, it was fine. But I really, really love this one and highly recommend it if you're someone who really needs deep moisture, but you can't stand the feeling of things and greasy things sitting on top of the skin for too long. So I do, I love this. I would repurchase. However, I was just gifted some hand cream. So I think I'm set for the foreseeable future. And I think 
This is like $18 steep for hand cream. You do get 2.5 fluid ounces. It's a luxury purchase, but this actually I see results with. That's all. All right, a, another hand product is the hand screen by Supergoop. I always get the travel size of this, which I think is $16. At one point I did have a big one, but two things. I use this when I get my nails done. Even though they use LED, I still, if you're getting your nails done and you're using a UV light or, you know, whatever, just extra protection. Also when I'm driving, but the bigger and most important part is if I can find my words today, I use retinol hand creams at night. And if you are using anything exfoliating or like retinol that helps with cell turnover, you need to be protecting your hands. You can absolutely do it with your SPF. Once you're done with your face and your neck, take it down to your hands. That's a hundred percent doable. Sometimes I just, I like adding little extra things in my routine if it gives me a little dopamine boost throughout the day. So I do recommend this. It is kind of greasy feeling and almost silicone feeling. So if you're not into that, maybe skip it. I don't mind it. It's just expired. I didn't get through all of it again because I'm usually using this in the car. So I don't know if I personally would repurchase this. If I ever got to a place where I was religiously being great about hand sunscreen, I would, but for right now it's a pass, but it's a good product. All right, and then I believe this is last for hand products unless I can find the packaging for this tablets that I'm using for soap. This one is, we need to talk about it. It has been somewhat controversial, but I want to speak on it. This is the TheraPlush from, oh, mine's so gross, <laughs> from Soft Services. It is their retinol hand cream. Now, it is a refillable package. You could pop the base out and get a new refill with the juice, keep the packaging. I love this packaging. Number one, so cute on the nightstand. It almost looks, this one almost looks like Jade. This was the first one they came out with. We'll get to that. But I really loved it. Again, magnetic closure, which is really nice. And then it has the airless pump that you can, with one hand, take this off, pump it, get it. And it's just such an easy and effective way to do hand cream. And it's nice and aesthetic and pretty on the nightstand. I do not know why companies are not doing this packaging for just regular old hand cream. I would love to have this on my desk and just use that without having to like flip a top, unscrew a cap, all that, you know, craziness. So this is also very pricey. I want to say it's 65 or $68, $68 now. So when this first launched, I got it in the first release before it sold out, it was $65. That is a lot. You do get a lot of product in this and it's a retinol hand cream. And at the time I think was the only one on my radar other than beauty pie. Cause this has been at least a year. What happened is they had some concerns from customers. They looked into it and what they had found out is the product with the packaging might not have been as stable as possible. There were a few customers who had defective products altogether, like the formula was bad, but they found that that wasn't the formula itself. And it was a combination, I think, of the formula and the packaging. I will make sure to include snippets from the email if I can find it in my inbox. So they recalled this. It went off the site. It was gone for a while. They have since brought it back. They did give those who had purchased it in the first round the option to buy again at the same price that we bought the first one, which was 65. They've now upped it, I think, or 58 something, but they've since upped it quite a bit. Now, I, at first I was like, that feels very unfair, be, unfair. <laughs> because this packaging is obviously no longer in use. The new one looks similar, but it's in all white. So it's not that anyone who has this packaging can pick up just a, re a refill of the new formula, but I was kind of salty about that. And then I thought, well, they actually handled this really well because the email that they sent out regarding this was very transparent on exactly what happened, the steps they took to prevent it, why it took so long, like very transparent as much as they, you know, are going to be with their customer base. And I really appreciated that. And it was nice that they allowed the initial customers to purchase at the same cost. All that to say, I do think soft services is still a wonderful, wonderful company. I really loved how they handled this. That's what I'm trying to say. Although it was crazy. I am very glad 
that they handled it the way that they did. I never had an issue with mine. I used quite a bit of mine. The reason I stopped using it is because Frank likes to lick lotion and creams and it just wasn't worth the battle getting into bed. So I stopped using it. I now don't really want to continue using it just in case, you know, something's off. But I am so very sad that I just don't feel like purchasing the new one yet because this packaging is just, they nailed it, genius. If you're in the market for something and you like the idea of like a one-handed, easy retinol hand cream at night, highly, highly recommend. I will consider repurchasing down the line. Right now, I was gifted a retinol hand cream. That's what I'm using. I will, we'll see. We'll see what happens. That was a rant. Okay, let's move into body. So I have two shaving gels, which is so interesting that in six months I've only gone through two and I know why. It's because I've switched to Hani products and that includes their, I always say this wrong. It's not a straight edge razor, a safety razor. I've switched to a safety razor and I went from shaving every single day to now shaving every second or third day. And we can do a whole video on switching to a safety razor. It has been marvelous and game changing, but there was a very steep learning curve for myself. But Flamingo fo Foaming Shave Gel, still probably my favorite um, shaving gel. I love this, $5 at Target. It's been in every empties video that I have, I think, <laughs> put on my channel. It is amazing, but I was doing some testing this summer specifically because I have KP on my legs, which sometimes is known as strawberry legs, where you kind of get those dots on your legs after you're shaving. And so I wanted to switch over to things just to see if maybe like the scent in this wasn't agreeing or like, how can I change my routine to prevent this from happening? I tried the Aveeno Therapeutic Shave Gel. It's fragrance free, but it kind of smells like Play-Doh to me. Yeah, like oatmeal Play-Doh a little bit, which I don't mind at all, but I want it unscented. So I actually really love this. It's not as rich and luxurious of a foam as the Flamingo, and I would go back to the Flamingo any day. Uh, but I do really like the Avino, and that I think it's around the same price, maybe a dollar cheaper. And this is what I have been using since. And I have a backup of this in my shower, but I would not hesitate to repurchase Flamingo. It's it's a good one. Both of these are good. All right, kind of in the same vein, but is going to move us into body wash is Soft Services Comfort Cleanse Ultra Soothe Ultra Soothing Shower Gel for body fragrance free. It's in an aluminum tin so you can recycle easily and then you keep the pump and you can repurchase refills unscented. This one does not foam, it suds, it gives a very light suds. Um, the reason this is kind of the bridge into body wash is they really tout this on their website as being a shaving product as well, which I did use it as both. Um, it didn't get me quite as clean. I, I must be like a very stinky person because I need like, I need my soap to really clean and be effective. Um, I think if that were not the case for you, this is super, super gentle. It does not dry out the skin at all. Um, and it does help with shaving. It's, I think because it's sudsy and it doesn't foam up, it leaves behind a slippiness on the legs or wherever you're shaving that helps the, the razor just glide over. I did not get a chance to use this with the safety razor, but when I was using the old Flamingo razor, I did. No qualms, it's just not the perfect body wash shaving product for me. I prefer a foam shave gel, and then also I prefer something a little bit more tough on my griminess. That's all, <laughs> but I do like it. I love the um, recyclable nature of it and the refills that they offer. Again, soft services, and you're gonna hear it a couple more times. I just really love and back the company. The ethics are there. They've proven it through action and they continue to release thought out products that have a refillable nature and efficacy in mind. This one just wasn't my top pick from them. Okay, keeping with soft services, I have, one of the soft service scrubbing bars 
interestingly enough, I this is in every empties too, and to only have one, I I know I threw away at least one other. So still to only have two in six months, I was typically burning through these like one a month, one every other month. Um, what has happened, and I, I have this box to show you. Two bars come in this box. It's all, again, recyclable. This bar is the bee's knees. It is the best. Um, go check out my other empties if you want more details on it. The reason I have not been going through these as much is because I have been testing a new AHA body product and I wanted to see how it did without the use of a physical exfoliant like this. And another thing that I'm testing is the Kitsch exfoliating body net, very similar to, I think they call them African soap nets. Um, and I know that Hani even has one um, that's traditionally used in Japanese bathing. So uh, I love this. I will always purchase this because even those nets cannot compare to the sandpaper effect of this. And if you need to scrub it all down this, but just be very careful. And also I always add the disclaimer for peak effectiveness. You have to make sure that this thing is drying out in between uses or else you're not going to get the full, full effect of just being able to literally scrape all your skin off. Be careful, but it is effective, especially on the legs if you have KP or strawberry legs. I would love to do a video on that someday. Then I think this is the last of the body washes. Um, I used up, so I've been switching to bar soap. Just, I don't know why. What I was saying is I think I got burnt by a couple of body washes that weren't as effective as I wanted them to be. And I've also been really chasing down like rich lather, like rich, dense, luxurious lather. And so when we were in Acadia, Maine, I grabbed this bar of soap by Cape Shore Blueberry. Oh, it was lovely. And it was very cleansing. And it wasn't sometimes soap, bar soaps, they try to be a scent, but they don't really capture it. This did. I really loved it. I used it all the way up. Highly recommend if you ever come across that brand. I really like that. But the one that I'm the most excited about, and I actually just finished this and opened up the Hani cleansing bar that I got. This one was so good. Nudie Rudy. I had wasabi pear. It wasn't like a childish fruity pear. It was like a sophisticated soapy pair. I really like that, but I actually got this at Walmart. I think it was like two or three dollars. It was like a big thick soap. If I can insert a picture, I will. Um, but it's cruelty free, made in Australia. It has pear and wasabi extract, enriched with shea butter, soapy, sudsy, soft all over. Get nudie and just add water. Just soap, no opera. I mean, the branding's on point, the scent was on point, the lather was amazing. The scent was amazing. It's affordable and it lasted a long time. I think that's the other thing is some of these body washes climb up into very expensive price ranges. And I just want a soap that's effective and luxurious feeling. And this I would absolutely use. I'm currently using the Hani cocoon cleanse. I'm not completely done with it, but I would say I'm about halfway done with it. So I'll just talk about it here. This I think is $26 compared to three and it's like 4.2 ounces for $3 and 3.7 for like, <laughs> what is that? Like almost eight times the cost. I don't know. Crazy. I love this though. I don't know that I've ever experienced something so luxurious and that actually, so this very cleansed does not strip my skin, but it didn't give my skin anything. If that makes sense. This gives my skin moisture, and even my husband has commented that my arms and shoulders feel softer. It's this. I love it. Um, they do say that it might come discolored based on the weather of the area that they're shipping to. Mine had a little bit of discoloration. Have not noticed anything negative with it. It's a beautiful bar of soap. A very, very luscious, thick, dense, luxurious suds. This is what I've been searching for, I think. The only thing is the scent, <laughs> just not like a spa girly. I like gourmand and fruits and things like that. And this has, I know it has rosemary. Again, I'll pop the notes up on the screen, but this one is also vegan, cruelty-free, dermatologist tested, gynecologist tested, just so good. It says it's a serum cleanser and a soap-free base. 
It allows to treat your body as delicately as you do your face. pH balance to protect your lipid barrier. barrier. Can't talk. This gentle formula cleanses even intimate areas without irritation. You're left with soft, supple, and loved, never dry or tight. The icing on the cake with no bottle or tube, the earth will thank you as much as your skin. Yeah, again, this is a very eco-friendly way to cleanse your body. It just smells clean and soap-like, but I could see, I think it's like rosemary. There might even be other spa-like scents in it. I'm just not a fan of that. So I could see myself getting tired of the scent, but the formula, so good. Okay, moving on. I have the Osea Andaria Algae Body Butter, the small one, and then the large oil and the small oil. Now, this is, this is a cautionary tale to everybody. When you have products that you love but are expensive and you tell yourself only to use them on special occasions, what happens is they will start to mold. And then you can't use it at all. And not only that, I mean, I did get through a decent amount. I'm not a body oil person, so what I would end up doing, and this actually helped stretch both of these products, and I almost got through the body butter. I would take a scoop of the body butter and then pump a couple pumps of the oil so that it didn't just feel like oil going on my skin. Sensory wise, I just can't handle that. I wish I could because my skin could use the oil, but clearly these didn't get used up. They went bad. I would personally not purchase these again, although I do love the citrus scent of these. I just obviously don't do well when things don't have stronger preservative systems because I will save them for special occasions. I didn't get through it fast enough, but also because I'm just not an oil person. I like things to sink in. It's no different on my facial skin. I like more of a gel moisturizer or a, a butter that sinks in. So these are not for me. I would recommend them. You can get a gift. This was a gift set from Nordstrom. I think if you know somebody that does love oils, these are beautiful, beautiful oils for the skin. Just not an oil girly. Wish it was. I cannot tell you how happy I am to get this stuff off my desk and out of my office because it's been <laughs> sitting here for a while. All right, next up, the Sol de Janeiro Bomb Dia Bright Cream. I did not finish this. I do like this. This does have AHAs, so this is a, <laughs> where's this say? Infused with renewing fruit AHAs and vitamin C. This is the Cherosa 40 fragrance. I do not love this product. <laughs> I loved the scent when I first got it. I even tried the other body products. But as I've found things that are like, what I've been missing and also as I've moved more to unscented body products and then relying on perfume I just the scent is starting to go off but these I've used half these scents always end up getting too intense for me and giving me a headache or just just really off-putting you might love this and it continues to be your number one favorite body cream it's moisturizing. It didn't do as much as some of the other ones that I will talk about today. It's fine. It's just fine. Um, if I got a, a point perk, I think that would be more conducive because then I can use it. And then when it, I get tired of it, I'm probably done with the product. The big tub, I'm not going to get through fast enough to use it up. And we're going to have a wrap up discussion at the end of this because you're going to see a few things that I didn't finish. And I'll tell you why they're in here and what that tells me moving forward. But I personally don't love this. You might love it if you do. So happy for you, but it's just not for me. Okay, second and last in the body butters, the pistache skincare uh, body butter. I love this, but I only use it in the fall and winter. And this one is quite old. It's changed color. It's usually a lighter, you can kind of see on the edge there. It's usually a lighter green. It's changed color and the scent has changed. I did not get through this fast enough before the spring and summer came because I think we talked about this in another empties. I way overbought body moisturizers at one point. I don't know 
what my, I know what my problem was. We'll get there. We'll talk about it. But I could see myself purchasing this within the next month if I start to feel like my skin is crying out for help because this has a lot of really great ingredients in it, including um, some algae that my skin responds really well to, especially when it's distressed. I could see myself purchasing it. It's $28. You get eight ounces. So it's much cheaper than the Sol de Janeiro, which is actually why I tried this product. It had its heyday on YouTube. It was even sold at Ulta at one point. I love this brand. They have other products. I have tried a few. I wouldn't recommend the body wash. It has this weird after smell, but the body butter is so good. I gift this all the time and people love it. It's like a thick body butter. It's the best. I talk about it in a lot of empties because I generally will have this or a sample packet at least ongoing. So I will probably repurchase this, but I'm currently using Naturium's Lipid Moisturizer, top tier that is, and it's even cheaper than this. So goodbye, I'm sorry I didn't use you all the way up, but I've gone through so many of these. I just, I just overbought body butters. All right, one thing that I did use all the way up is another Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin Nourishing Body Polish with smoothing mango and papaya enzymes, coconut milk, orange, and lemon oils. Every, almost every Beauty Pie video that is either a haul or top favorites or something has this in it. This is also probably in every single empties. Maybe there's one that it's not. Before Soft Services and some of the AHA lotions that I've used, This was the most effective thing for my KP, and it also is my Rich Lady Showers. I'll link that video down below. I still believe in a good Rich Lady Shower. The products change from time to time, but this is something that I, as long as I am a Beauty Pie member, will always have in my arsenal. I love this so much. It's $18. It has AHA in the oils. It's scrubby enough and doesn't dissolve too fast that you get a good scrub, but the best part is the AHAs are in the oil and that sticks to your body so you don't have to moisturize out of the shower and the AHAs have something to stick to to kind of work dead skin cells. So smooth, but beware there is, (laughs) those oils can get on the bottom of your shower or your bathtub, so just be very careful with this. Sometimes I'll even take my body wash or shampoo, put some on the floor of the shower Move it around with my foot, try to get the oil off so nobody becomes a victim. You know what I mean? Love it though. Would recommend. And I, yes, I have a backup in my bathroom as we speak. All right. And then I did miss a body wash, Vanna Cream Gentle Body Wash. I was super curious about this, especially as I moved into unscented products. I use the Vanna Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser every single night and day. Mostly at night, I use it as a double cleanse, first and second. Sometimes I use it just as a first or just as a second. I love it so much. It's $8 for uh, eight ounces or something like that. And I was just curious if this was any different. The ingredients are somewhat similar. The feeling's even somewhat similar, but I think the face wash is a little bit more effective. This wasn't as effective as I wanted it to be, but it's 12 fluid ounces. And again, I think I'm just a stinky person or something. Um, I would recommend this. Again, this was, I think, $10 for the 12 fluid ounces. So I really love the price point that Vanna Cream comes in at. And also, they're just super, super gentle for sensitive skin. And they are accepted by the National Eczema Foundation. It's free of all of these things. I love this brand so much. Very easy to comprehend ingredient list on the back. I would go with Vanna Cream over Cetaphil or CeraVe any day. And I'm using their moisturizing cream right now and testing that out. And so far I like it, but this just was like, I like my bar soaps better, you know, but I would recommend if you need an unscented, gentle, gentle body wash. Get this big guy out of the way. I finished a Super Goop Play SPF 50 everyday lotion. It is disgusting. We, this lasted quite a long time because it is 18 fluid ounces. I think the price went up on these. This used to be cheaper. You can use your HSA for sunscreen. If you have an HSA or an FSA, just keep that in mind. A lot of retailers are now accepting your FSA or HSA card. Um, The HSA store, which I will link down below, carries a large majority of super good products, including this, and that's where I will be purchasing mine through. But... 
I love this. This one is a chemical sunscreen, but I, I just love this. It's so easy to take to the beach or wherever you're going. I love that it's a pump. My husband and I, just the convenience of this and the formula is easy to rub in. I just really love this. I trust Super Goop and highly, highly would recommend, especially if you're like me and love to slather yourself and others in sunscreen. Why not have a jumbo, you know? Second to last body product. We are not quite through this. You can see I've gone through quite a bit. This is the Everyone for Everybody lotion made with plant extracts and pure coconut oil, three in one, hand, face, and body unscented. I have actually been using <laughs> this product for years and my husband as well. So in 2013, I went through a huge clean phase to the point where I was like making a lot of products like my own dry shampoo and things. Um, and at the time I wasn't making a lot of money. So I had to be really careful with how I spent on personal care products. And lo and behold, this brand remains one of my favorites to this day. If you are looking for just like, not even if you're looking for clean, but if you're just looking for like a minimal ingredient, but effective lotion that might veer on the side of more natural, whatever that means. I do love these. I also just love it as like a gentle unscented body lotion. This is very hydrating. It does sink in fairly quickly. It has more of like, it's not a watery texture, but it's not a thick cream, which is what I typically like. Uh, my husband though still really loves this and I had to pry this away from him because it is expired and he didn't know that things expired. And I think that these come in a smaller size. I mean, it's 32 fluid ounces and I flew through these when I was using them for my entire body, but my husband mostly uses these for like his elbows or his hands. He's not doing like a full body moisture situation. So I will probably end up getting him a smaller bottle, um, in his stocking, but he just can't get through these big bad boys in time. But if you're looking for something that is very economical, very gentle, very hydrating, this is where it's at all day. You can get it at Whole Foods, probably a lot of health food stores. They do have scents. If you like more kind of like spa natural scents, you'll really love them. But I really love that they offered it in unscented. This everyone brand is also my favorite hand sanitizer. And they have lavender wipes that I used at my desk that my coworkers fought over when I left my two jobs before the one I'm in now. They were like, um, we're sad you're leaving, but can I have your desk wipes? <laughs> Highly recommend this brand. Okay, the last body product outside of deodorant is the Drunk Elephant TLC Glycolic Body Lotion, 10% AHA, Marula, and Shea Butter. Frank's barking at his own father. Anyway, this is the first and only the second AHA body lotion product that has actually done anything for me, and I've tried a lot. I tried the Ren, slightly effective, but not really. I have tried the Topicals, not as effective as I would like it to be. I've tried at least two more brands. They didn't do anything. This one is no joke and it works. It It is so effective. It is kind of like a gel, a gel lotion consistency. And it does kind of go a long way. You don't have to use a lot, which is why mine lasted forever because I was really only using it like nipples to chin and shoulders. Couldn't think of the word. Um, so it did end up lasting me a very long time. So eight fluid ounces for $29 was, I think, very fair. Um, a really nice price. This brand is not my favorite because they tend to be overpriced. And there's there was all that stuff going on, which I don't think is an issue anymore, where the owner was like berating customers. But I think some of the original ethos of the brand and what they were pushing people to use on their face without educating people on nuances and that exfoliating with a strong glycolic every night is not for everybody kind of puts me off the brand a little bit. However, I'm testing one that was sent to me from Necessaire, which thank you so much, Necessaire. We can get into that in another video, but I think it might be just as effective. Um, it is more expensive. So if you're trying to save, I would go with the drunk elephant. It's going to be your best bang for your buck that I have tried. 
I love this. And depending on where I land with the Necessaire, I might be repurchasing this, but it's up in the air. Time will tell. Time will tell. All right, let's do deodorant really quickly. Um, I love Dove spray deodorants. I'm an aluminum girly. For the most part, I do use the Necessaire unscented. Um, it has a J's, I think. I don't know. Is it mandelic acid? I'll pop on the screen if I'm wrong. That's the only active ingredient that does anything for me. And I have not bothered to try Kosas or any other brands because I like the Necessaire. It's unscented. I haven't had any irritation. I just love it. However, I am a stinky gal. Like I said, I'm a stinky gal. And if I got to use aluminum, I'm using aluminum. And on top of that, it's it's not definitive. There is no definitive scientific evidence. When that day comes, I will reconsider. However, in the summertime, you will not catch me without aluminum. Anyway, <laughs> the one that I have used for years at this point, and the reason I love the spray is it doesn't tend to leave the white marks on clothing. I use the Karen Coconut. I love it. I've gone through so many bottles of these over the years, but this year I came across the Mango Sunshine for teens. Obsessed. Obsessed. It's like a mango creamsicle. I have one more backup of this and it's not always in my stores nearby. So hopefully it wasn't like just a summer thing. I love it. It's my favorite. I already have a backup. <laughs> and then the last one I want to talk about is I got this before I went and repurchased the Karen Coconut. I was like, let's just see if there's a, a scent that excites me more. And I haven't used Secret since high school. And so I got the Vanilla Plus Argan Oil Weightless Dry Spray. And it smells like homemade whipped cream. Like it smells good. I love it. But every time I put this on, it burnt the ever loving you know what out of my underarms. And I have no idea why. No idea why. I've never had that with the Dove. So I just... I didn't feel like trying to figure it out and I will give this to someone because it's full pretty much, but it's clearly not formulated for me. I'm sticking with my Dove, you know, let's get into miscellaneous. I have three packs of great boogie wipes. There's like a couple left in each of these where they just dried out, but I used 99% of all three of these packs. Check out my allergy videos. I will link them down below as well, but dang. These are the best. You can also use your HSA or FSA to purchase these on Amazon. They will accept your HSA card. I will be using that for mine because these are a must have in allergy seasons. For me, they keep your nose hydrated. They're not just for kids, but you can clean out any of the, the gunk and the pollen that gets in there that might irritate you and they're just fabulous. Okay, then I put this to remind me to talk about Hani, but we've already talked about them. I went through my first box of blades I have since gone through more blades, but I don't know if I kept the box. Love, love this company, love what they're doing. I would love to do an in-depth review of those. All right, next is um, Reels Natural Feminine Wipes. I have tried all the wipes from them. Really like the one in the pink packaging that's soothing. This is kind of just their standard run of the mill. I just like having these when you have PCOS. It's nice to freshen up and be on with your day, you know? And that's all I'll say on that. And then I know, I know that I have thrown more of these away than I have kept them. However, the Biofreeze Cool the Pain Overnight Relief Patches, again, can be covered by HSA FSA on Amazon or the HSA store. This is what keeps me up and moving and active when I'm having chronic pain or a migraine because mine responds very well to um, cold or ice therapy. This is also so much less messy than the roller or the gel or the spray. And the scent doesn't get everywhere because I really don't like the scent. Um, this box in particular was the overnight relief patches. I think because they, these are the ones that had, yes, scented with lavender. Don't bother. They're more expensive and the lavender just barely cuts through the menthol scent, which I hate, but the lavender ones are, are not worth it. Um, the scent's just not strong enough and the patches, look how little. The patches were so much smaller. 
So I did go through those. I think I have one. Yeah, one here from that pack. I had used them previously. The ones that I do recommend is the either the large or the extra large. You can get a combo of both of these sizes in a, I think they call it like the large patches box, um, but they're perfect, especially if you need to cover like the full gamut of one side of your back, which is what I do, or you need to cover your lower back side to side. These are the sizes that you wanna get. I was so disappointed that the lavender was more expensive and the size was so small. Not, not nice. Okay, let's do some hair care and we'll wrap this one up and I'll see you back for part two. But we have three, four, shamp five shampoos. So we gotta talk about the first one first because it is um, Renee Futera Naturia. You're not gonna be able to see that super well in the lighting. This is the OG shampoo that got discontinued that I used to buy in this big bottle here. They, I, if you were not here for this whole saga, I have very sensitive scalp skin. I break out on my scalp. I need something that's really cleansing, but is not going to disturb the balance of my scalp because I have dry skin. This was the perfect one and it was scented like basil and I have yet to find a shampoo that is scented like basil. And I don't know why more people are not doing that because it is so good, like a soapy basil, like a clean basil. God, I love it so much. If you know of a basil scented shampoo, let me know. But I had reached out to them because I saw that it wasn't available for the sale that I always stocked up on this size for and asked them if they were discontinuing it. They assured me that they were not. However, they did. I was, I was just gonna wait till the next sale because they have it every few months. Lo and behold, I went to purchase it. It said it had been discontinued. I was fuming. And all that was left were these little dinky 1.6 fluid ounces. And I bought, I think, four. Overpaid and bought four. But this is the only thing that has ever saved my scalp after a flare-up of scalp acne. But also just keeps it at bay when I'm using it daily. And it doesn't dry my actual hair out. <sighs> I don't know that I'll ever be able to forget this shampoo. And that is so dramatic. But... I need them to bring it back so bad because then I went on a search to find a stockist who maybe still had some of it. And I ordered what I thought to be this basil scented green product off of a site in Canada. And what they sent me is now, if you can, you're not going to be able to see it. There's a lavender leaf there where there used to be basil reformulated and not the same in terms of scent at all. This is like a powdery lavender scent, which I'm not a major fan of. It's not the worst, but I'm not a major fan of. And it's a different formula. They call this a gentle micellar shampoo. And this was an extra gentle shampoo. I don't know. However, this has been helping in situations where my scalp gets unhappy and I do use it. I have used this one up. I have one more in the shower and then I don't even know if I can find this anymore. <laughs> I'm so hopeless over this, but there's hope and we'll get into that next. But I'm, if you know of some black market where I can find this original basil scented one, tell me please. Or if you know of a basil shampoo in general, just for the nostalgia of it all, let me know. But if you or maybe in a different country and you're aware of this line because it's still like this isn't even available on the Renee website or at least the US website. If you know anything about this, I'm all ears because it was the best. I just don't know what they expect people who have sensitivities to do when they just like, I just wanted a heads up so I could buy them out, you know? Moving on, I have, I think I clearly have some unresolved things with that. One that I have used and does seem to help and was one of the only shampoos I tested. I tested at least 15 shampoos and one of the only ones that worked for me outside of that like bootleg Naturia um, is from Acton Acre. It's their cold processed hair cleanse. I've used a small travel size and then this 
is their standard 10 fluid ounce size. They do carry refill. So I'll be keeping the bottle. Um, I'm not ready to buy the refill of this yet because I still have, I think, half a bottle of that lavender naturia left. And I'm really tempted to try Way's dandruff shampoo because it's salicylic acid. I would think salicylic acid would really help my scalp situations, but all of the salicylic acid formula of shampoos trashes my hair and they're just not worth it. And I've tried them. Tisa, whatever, all of it I've tried. I do want to try the way one. So I'm going to hold, but I'll keep this bottle. I do recommend this brand. I've tried everything from their kind of like first era of life. They've since come out with some really cool peptide products, curly um, hair products. But if you're interested in like a full Actin Acre video, I'm happy to do that. But I will also refer you to my video about scalp acne. I talk about um, almost all of the products that I've tried from them and which ones I think are most important if you struggle with that. All right. And then the last hair product that I used all the way up is the Bumble and Bumble BB Heat Shield Thermal Protection Mist. This was a deluxe sample. I have started to style my hair a little bit more. I actually just got it cut and we did some really fun kind of layering and it's shorter and a little thinner than it has been. It's a lazy Sunday, so I'm giving my hair um, well-deserved rest. However, I don't mind this. I like sprays like this because I can use it on dry hair because I'm not always styling straight out of the shower. I'm usually styling dry. So if you could let me know your favorite spray heat protectants, I'd really like to try the way because I'm obsessed with the North Bondi scent and their leave-in conditioner is. But let me know your favorite um, thermal protectants for when your hair is dry. Ramble, ramble. Let me know your favorite heat protectants down below. But I have, I just got a new deluxe sample of this. So that's what I'll be using for now, you know? And then the last, <laughs> this is the rambliest empties video. The last hair products that I have are from Amika. Amika is another brand that I trust my scalp with. Like I've never had major issues from Amika products and I have tried quite a few of them. One of my favorite products that they ever had, they discontinued and I need your help again because I, I love this product. There's not very much left in this at all because I love it so much. Um, this is their Sexture, Sexture, it's a weird word to say, Sexture. Beach Look Shampoo. Now this has kale and clay in it. My scalp loved this, but my hair also did because it gave it the texture that I really love. My hair can go really glossy, sleek pretty easily, and it's the opposite of what I want. I like some texture and some grittiness, but this also gave it that without it feeling like too gritty and like there was powder and yuckiness in it. It just gave it some lift and some texture. I love this so much and I'm so sad they stopped making it. So if you know of any kale and clay shampoos that do give that texture, please let me know. I would love to pick it up. I didn't use this every day. It was like when I wanted that style. Oh, RIP. It was so good. And then the last one, this expired. I only used half of it. It is pink, the reset pink charcoal scalp cleansing oil. I tried so many scalp treatments. Um, this was fine. It was kind of like a, a pre-cleanse, like a step one. And I do shampoo twice in the shower. So this would be like step one. Just wasn't special enough. And I just washed twice with the shampoo I have. Do you know what I mean? It just felt like an extra step that I couldn't remember. So um, you might like it. I can't remember if there was a cooling sensation or not. I can't imagine there was because I think that would have made me like it a little bit more. But yeah, I would pass on this. They should have discontinued this and kept this. Like what the heck? I'm available for consultations. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, and then I want to cover some candly things. I have not, because I have to share this, I have not been covering candles as much in the empties like I did in the beginning of my channel because I haven't been burning them. I have been using a warmer and man, do they last so much longer. It's crazy. The first one is uh, Whiskey Moon Boutique. They have not been selling as much recently because the owner has a lot going on in her personal life and that is a shame and I hope that she's doing well, but she's just so good at scent and one of my favorite scents is apple cider donut. I stocked up last fall 
I have the wax melts here that we went through a pack of, and then I have a candle that I burned that I will use my candle warmer for the last bit of this, probably today actually, but I have quite a few more of the wax melts and a couple more candles. My favorite scent ever. If you know of a brand that does like an apple cider donut, this smelled exactly like that without having like a weird synthetic bakery fragrance. It was just so good. Let me know if you know of any scented candles that are apple cider donut, but aren't won't give me a headache and don't smell too synthetic. And then the last one I used up was my cousin's brand. And I really hope that he brings this back. I know they had to put a pause on it. If it ever comes back, I will absolutely let everybody know. But he did a fallen leaves wax melt. Even the little branding they did was so cute. And this was just, if you like Bath and Body Works leaves from back in the day, I haven't smelled that in so long. This was that, but even more warm and cozy and not too literal of the leaves. It was just kind of like what you would smell walking outside in a park with the leaves falling, but so kind of like warm and comforting and perfect that it was that mixed with like reading a book in a bay window during the fall, watching the leaves fall and being like wrapped up in cozy and like cashmere and amber. There's really good notes in this, like beautiful, a beautiful job, which is why I'm like behind the scenes being like, you need, you need to be doing this again. You have a gift to share with the people, <laughs> me, but that's going to conclude our body and miscellaneous empties. Because we're gonna do this in two videos, I will share quickly my thoughts around my buying habits, particularly when it comes to the categories that we spoke about. So there's been a lot going on this year for me personally, and we're gonna get into that. I'm gonna do a year recap and what's going to be happening for my channel coming up. That's on my list to film this week, actually. Because now I feel like I'm in a pattern and with things kind of winding down around the holidays from other areas of life, granted they're going to be ramping up in some too, but I'm going to have a little bit more bandwidth to get back into a rhythm on my channel. What I have been really focusing on right now is organizing my life in every sense of the word. And part of that you saw me doing, trying to get my office to a better state, it has since evolved two or three times. But another one was my bathroom. And I do have the footage from that. And we might go ahead and, and try to put that together and figure out how to present that. But I really dug through my bathroom and it had just become overrun with products because I was chasing down comfort because rich lady showers are how I unwind, how I regulate my nervous system, how I take care of myself. I was constantly on the search for the perfect products for it. And I got away from that ritual itself. Like if you go back and watch my rich lady shower video, you see that the emphasis is more so on the ritual of it and the intentions around it than the products. The products can change and the, the intent and the ritual stays the same. And because this year has been a difficult year for me, which again, we'll get into some details in another video. I really tried to fill that void. And I don't know if it's a void. I really tried to wrap myself up in that ritual to protect myself so much that I was just buying too much stuff. <laughs> like I just... I have a pretty good grip on the amount of products that I can go through in a period of time. And I'm also really good at noticing like, oh, I've had this for a while. I need to start using it so that I use it up before it goes bad. But I had so many body moisturizers and body washes. There was no way. There was no way. <laughs> so you're seeing kind of the results of what that looks like with products that are not empty and are bad. They're growing mold. 
Now, I do try to use up everything that I buy. It just wasn't possible because I surrounded myself with things that I thought would help me feel better when the reality was I needed to get back in to my doctor's offices and start figuring out what was going on with me. So that to say, if you're looking around and you just have way too much in one category, it's time to ask yourself why. And it might be a similar reason to me. It might be a totally different reason from what I just said, but maybe you're trying to fix something with products because that's how they sell to us, right? They're, they're fixing KP or they're fixing sagging skin, whatever. Maybe you're trying to fix something and, and getting to the heart of what that is might help you because it's not nice to feel like you're throwing things away that you didn't get to use up. And this is all going to tie into my year-end recap and what's going to happen moving into next year. Hopefully this conversation also hits you at a good time so you're not out there with all these holiday sets and all of these promotional videos feeling like you need to chase down the next best thing, the next best thing. I love using what I have. I always have and that's why empties have always been a staple on my channel and why I love them so much because I'm using what I own. It's It feels like this year because of everything else happening, I just got away from that a little bit. And my goal moving into next year is to, we're putting an end to it. And I'm, you'll see some changes on how I approach my budget. We're going to set an actual budget and there's going to be a storyline that we go through. So I hope you'll stick around for all of that into 2024. But that concludes body and miscellaneous. Thank you for being with me on a rambly Sunday. I hope that you'll see this early in the week, but if not, I hope you've been doing well. I have missed you and I hope that you will come back for part two because there's a lot of skincare that I did use all the way up and some makeup that I also used all the way up. That said, have a great one. If you celebrate the holiday this week, I hope you have a wonderful time. It is the best dinner of the year because I love mashed potatoes. So I hope that you get some mashed potatoes if you like them and I will see you in the next one. Bye.